Police orders man to open coffin. When they saw what's inside, they called for. Under the muted amber of the streetlights, the night's chill wrapped around Officer Alex Jennings like a cloak as he patrolled a deserted stretch of highway. The quiet of the night, usually a solace, felt oppressive, as if charged with the anticipation of something unforeseen. It was then that a hearse emerged from the shadows, its slow, deliberate pace slicing through the silence. Something about the vehicle's cautious crawl ignited a spark of suspicion in Alex's mind, a whisper of unease that refused to be silenced. Memories of crime dramas he'd watched flickered through his mind, tales where the dead were a cover for the dealings of the living, illicit activities hidden in plain sight. With a decisive motion, he signaled the hearse to pull over, the red and blue lights of his patrol car painting the night with urgent colors. The driver, a silhouette of annoyance and arrogance, met Alex's request with a sneer, as if the very act of questioning him was beneath contempt. The insistence on opening the coffin, a demand driven by a mixture of duty and an inexplicable hunch, was met with resistance, but as the lid was pried open, the air seemed to still, time pausing in anticipation. Inside lay a young blonde woman, her features serene in eternal slumber, a peaceful visage that belied the darkness of the night and the situation at hand. Alex's heart sank, a cocktail of frustration and curiosity brewing within. The expected contraband was absent, replaced instead by a scenario far too innocent for the scene he had envisioned. Yet the encounter carved a path for a deeper investigation, an undercurrent of mystery that tugged at his instincts. The peacefulness of the woman's repose, in stark contrast to the driver's defensiveness and the peculiar circumstances of their meeting, whispered of secrets hidden just beneath the surface. As the hearse drove away, leaving Alex alone with his thoughts, the night seemed to close in around him once more. The encounter, brief yet intense, had ignited a flame of determination. What was meant to be a routine stop had unfolded into the beginning of a journey, one that would challenge not only his courage, but the very wits he prided himself on. The road ahead was uncertain, veiled in shadows that only perseverance and a keen mind could hope to dispel. The sudden assault was swift and brutal, a blur of emotion that ended with Officer Alex Jennings succumbing to darkness. When consciousness seeped back, it was not to the familiar comfort of light, but to an oppressive blackness, thick and suffocating. The air was heavy, laced with the cold, metallic tang of death that clawed at his senses, a relentless reminder of his grim reality. Panic clawed at his chest, a wild, frantic thing, as the horrifying truth dawned on him. He was entombed within the claustrophobic embrace of a coffin, the weight of his situation as suffocating as the air he struggled to breathe. Beside him, the woman's presence was a silent accusation, her stillness a stark contrast to the chaos of his thoughts. The hearse's motion was a constant reminder of their macabre journey, the uneven roads jolting them in their shared grave, each bump a grim punctuation to Alex's growing despair. It seemed as if hope had been sealed away with the coffin's lid, leaving him in a darkness both literal and metaphorical. Then, unexpectedly, a sound pierced the silence, a groan so faint Alex thought his desperation had conjured it. But it came again, unmistakably human, a thread of life in the suffocating darkness. The woman, presumed dead, was alive. This revelation was a spark in the night, a flicker of possibility amidst the despair. The claustrophobic confines of their wooden prison became a shared cell of survival, a bond forged in the dim hope of escape. Frantically, Alex's hands searched for his phone, the modern lifeline to the world beyond their dark enclosure. The device felt oddly trivial and yet overwhelmingly significant in his grasp, a beacon of hope as he struggled to coax a signal from the other. Each failed attempt to connect was a blow, each moment passing a suffocating realization of their precarious situation. In that pitch-black domain, every breath was a battle, every second stretched into an eternity of waiting and wanting. The phone, their potential savior, became a focal point of Alex's efforts, 
a tangible link to salvation that seemed just out of reach. Amidst the fear and desperation, the fragile thread of hope that the woman's living presence provided spurred Alex on, a reminder that they were not yet consigned to the dark. As the earth began to blanket their makeshift tomb, the sound of dirt cascading onto the coffin's lid was a chilling, rhythmic dirge. Each thud a stark reminder of the grim reality Alex and Clara faced. Encased in darkness, the oppressive finality of being buried alive threatened to overwhelm them, an unimaginable terror that gnawed at the edges of their resolve. Hope seemed a distant memory, snuffed out by the earth that sought to claim them. Yet in the heart of despair, a glimmer of hope sparked to life. Fueled by the vigilance of Simeon, the cemetery guard, his keen eyes had caught the anomaly of the scene, the hearse's presence at an ungodly hour, the hushed tones of a sinister plot unfolding. Driven by a sense of duty and an inherent courage, Simeon approached, his steps cautious yet determined. The sight of the hearse and the sound of soil being shoveled had quickened his pulse, but it was the righteousness of his mission that steadied his hands as he began to unearth the coffin. With the lid pried open, relief and gratitude flooded through Alex and Clara, a rush of fresh air filling their lungs as if reborn from the earth itself. The world outside their dark prison was a blur of motion as they emerged, guided by Simeon's steady hand. But there was little time for relief as the culprits, caught off guard, scrambled to regain control. The confrontation that ensued was a maelstrom of chaos and resolve, a physical manifestation of the battle between greed and justice. Alex and Clara, fueled by the adrenaline of survival and the sharp sting of betrayal, fought alongside Simeon. Their determination was a tangible force, as if the very night had lent them its strength to reclaim their lives from the jaws of death. As reinforcements arrived, the bleak shadows that had enveloped their ordeal began to dissipate, unraveling the nefarious plot woven by Clara's husband. It was greed, dark and consuming, that had orchestrated this grim dance, a plan thwarted by the unexpected resilience and bravery of Alex, Clara, and their unexpected ally. The ordeal, harrowing as it was, birthed a bond forged in the crucible of shared peril. Alex and Clara, their spirits indomitable, looked toward a horizon filled with hope. Their story, a testament to the strength found in unity and the triumph over darkness, hinted at a future where love and resilience could blossom from the most desolate of circumstances.' 